how do you combine multiple excel file into one this is a regular question which is asked in my training sessions by participant that hey ramzan we have multiple excel files and i wanted to combine every time i have to do copy paste copy paste sometime i get 10 files sometime i get 15 files something like this that okay you have uh, files of different different cities people sent from different different locations and you put it in one folder and you want click on a button and all the files get combined in one excel sheet so that you can create a pivot table on that easily you can use a count if sum if formula and create a nice looking dashboard on that right so how do you do all this thing so in this video in just few seconds i will show you you just have to select the folder and power query will combine all your file and give you one beautiful nice looking sheet well formatted so that you can create a pivot sum if and can do all your calculations okay so let's get started so here are my multiple files over here which i wish to combine and i wanted to create a summary report but for creating a summary report first i need to combine so let's see how do we combine it so the first step is i will go to the data tab and in data tab here you get an option get data you click on get data over here you will go to the from file and in the end you get an option from folder so i click on from folder over here and it will ask me that where is your files placed so i will quickly copy the path where is my file so i click on it and i say copy and i press enter so it will select that folder and i will just say open over here and as soon as i say open it is going to show me all the files which are available in that folder wow so these are my files which are available in that folder after that you will click on the combine option over here and you will click on the second option that is combine and load so i click on combine and load over here and it is evaluating the query over here again he is connecting my data and it will show me the file name means you have to select one file as a sample file to get him the idea so i click over here and i say hey i need abu dhabi so i select one abu dhabi sample file and in that i have a data uh, which i have converted into the data that is control t so i click on it and i say okay over here that's all and within few seconds you will see it will process the query and all your data should be there in the excel sheet well formatted and here you go perfect lovely so all your data is came and he is even showing you the source that from this excel file this is your data from this excel file this is your data is not that very simple in just less than one minute you can do it want to learn something more interesting in this let's say now you have a data tell umul kovin now for example a person from sharja sent you a file so i open my desktop and on that i have another data which is of sharja so i copy the sharja sheet sharja file and i paste it over here now what let me open and show you the sharja file now remember this sharja file is having a data which is been converted into the table this is very important thing friends so i have pressed or the person who has sent me this file on this data he has pressed control t he has converted this into the table it means whenever you want to combine make sure first you press control t convert it into the table make it in a proper format and then try to combine it 
So now you see I have a Sharjah data. So now how you what you will do? Nothing. You just paste the file over here and you just have to refresh friends. That's all. So I say right click and I say refresh and my Sharjah data will be added over here. You want me to find Sharjah? Control F and I say Sharjah. Lovely. So I have my Sharjah data also. So in future if you add more sheets over here, you need not have any problem. Just refresh and that data will also get added over here. And now on this you know how do you create the pivot table. So I go to the insert, I go to the pivot table and I say hey I need a pivot table on an existing sheet. I want it over here. Just say ok. And I want a city by sales. So I put the city over here. I put the sales over here. This you all know. You wanted to uh, do it uh, uh, sorting like uh, ascending to descending. So you can just right click on that. Go to the sort and say largest to smallest. Wow. Hey I wanted to see for each person. So you can go to the insert and you can even add the slicer. I hope you have the idea about the slicer. So I take the rep name that is representative name. So I have four people. So when I click on John, this is the sales of John. I click on Mary, this is the sales of Mary, Peter, Sally. Again if you want to bring it back, I click on this. So with combining the data, I have even explained you two more things. One is how do you create a simple pivot and on that pivot how do you insert a slicer. Okay. So now whatever you have a data, create the copy of it and why not to give it a try. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.